Hey guys, I'm Eric Franklin from CNET, and today I'm taking a first look at the Ouya. The Ouya is a $99 video game system that hooks to your TV and runs on Android. It hooks to your TV via HDMI, there's also a full USB port, there's an Ethernet port, there's also a micro USB port, there's built-in Wi-Fi, there's support for 5.1 sound, as well as Bluetooth. So the interesting thing about Ouya, beyond its really low price, is that it's really uh, trying to support the indie game development community. Every Ouya is also a development system, so you can take the Ouya, hook up your computer, download the SDK, or as they call it, the ODK, and then you can just start making games on it. Then you can submit the games to Ouya, and the turnaround, according to them, is about an hour to two hours, and then your game is just on their store, and people can download it, and, and depending on what your business model is, you know, you can start getting paid. Speaking of which, every game on Ouya is free to try. So you can download your game and then try it for a little while and see if you want to continue playing. Depending on each game's business model, you'll pay microtransactions or pay for the full game. The console is actually this little small box. It's less than a pound in weight, has a power button at the top. Also comes with a controller. The controller actually looks a lot like the Xbox controller. It has dual analogs, but there's a D-pad in the middle. There's a home button, two triggers, and two bumper buttons. The controller felt great in my hands. It was pretty light. It fit my hands really well. The handles fit really well. Playing the games, it was, the buttons were very responsive. I only used mostly the face buttons. There's also a touchpad on the face of the controller that uh, is used in some games. So in one game, I had to kind of like scratch the touchpad really quickly in order to get something to happen, which is kind of a cool thing, kind of a new cool thing. I got to play maybe 15 minutes worth of games. Uh, most of these are, are just indie games. I also got to play Final Fantasy III for a couple of seconds. Some of the graphics are kind of like retro, pixely graphics that you see a lot in indie games these days. But some had, like Final Fantasy III, had polygonal graphics that looked pretty sharp. The system outputs to uh, 720p as well as 1080p. The Ouya game console is available to early backers right now, and everyone else will be able to purchase it on June 4th, 2013. It will cost $99 for the box and the controller. So it's going to be interesting to see how well this does. This is not going to compete directly necessarily with the PS4 or the next Xbox. It's just not as powerful as those systems. But uh, for people who are into indie games, for indie game developers, you know, $99 isn't a lot of money for a console. Once again, I'm Eric Franklin, and this has been a first look at the Ouya Game Console.